My name is Libby Athey, and this is Lonnie and a Buddy, and we are going to discuss the enzyme 2BI6, commonly referred to as stembromelin. In this presentation, we will cover the history of stembromelin, the characteristics and the properties, the research findings on post-translational modifications, and the significance of stembromelin. Stembromelin is commonly found in the stem and the body of the fruit of certain pineapples such as Ananas camosus, which is believed to have originated in Brazil. The use of pineapples and the enzyme bromelin has been utilized in medical treatments by indigenous Central Americans since Columbus's exploration in the late 1400s. The protolytic enzyme bromelin, bromelin was first discovered in 1891 by a Venezuelan chemist named Vicente Mercado, pictured here. Mercado was interested in plants that were used by indigenous tribes to ferment alcohol, such as the use of cassava de yuca, commonly referred to as tapioca, by the Ronco Indians of Venezuela. Despite this early start, it wasn't until 1957 that scientists R.M. Heinick and Goitner analyzed the stem of pineapples and discovered bromelin contained other enzymes such as stem bromelin. However, much of the credit of discovering bromelin was given to Mercado after his death. Stem bromelin's systematic name, or its enzyme classification, is 3,4,22,32. The first number in this sequence refers to the class number. It is a hydrolase which cleaves bonds by the introduction of water. However, stem bromelin is more easily identified by 2BI6. BI stands for bromelin isoinhibitor which means that it competitively inhibits the cysteine protease bromelin. Some other properties of stem bromelin is that its molecular weight is 23.8 kilodaltons, its isoelectric point is 9.55, and its UV max is 280 nanometers. Stem bromelin is extracted from pineapples through a multi-step process. Presented here is an example of the extraction of bromelin from a pineapple. First, the juice of the pineapple is collected and cooled. Next, the pineapple juices are homogenized and, the, and filtered to create crude bromelin. Finally, lipolization, a method of freeze drying, is employed to purify and extract stem bromelin from the pineapple juice. In fact, this very process of examining the juices of pineapple is how Vicente Mercado discovered bromelin in the first place. The extraction and purification of stem bromelin is important because bromelin is an enzyme comprised of many different enzymes. For example, other protease enzymes found within bromelin are stem bromelin, fruit bromelin, aninin, and comosin. In addition, bromelin is comprised of various non-protease such as esterase, phosphatase, glutease, peroxidase, and cellulases. Presented here, is the structure of 1BI6, bromelin inhibitor, and 2BI6, stem bromelin. Upon looking at the following ball and stick models, they appear to be exactly the same. That is because the majority of bromelin enzymes are about 90% similar in amino acid sequence. Further investigations into the sequence change shows the differences. The 2BI6 enzyme has four beta bridges, while 1BI6 does not have any. 1BI6 has four beta strands, while 2BI6 has one. They both have four bends in two turns, staying true to the 90% similarity. 2BI6 structure is comprised of a 23% helix, 18% anti-parallel sheets, 5% parallel sheet, 28% turns, and with the remaining 35% contributing to the structure formation. Our study of focus is on the enzyme stem bromelin, 2BI6. So why is stem bromelin worth studying? Because stem bromelin can cleave amino acids, such as those found on the tongue and the hand, by touching or eating pineapples in large doses. That's why sometimes, after eating large quantities of pineapples, one's tongue and gums may have a stinging sensation. Presented here is an analysis of the amino acid residues found in one study of stem bromelin. 
Stemberlin is made up of various amino acids. It has three disulfide bonds within a 212 residue polypeptide chain. Stemberlin's soft hydryl group is essential for catalytic activity. Of its amino acids, cysteine-25 and histidine-159 are responsible for most of its catalytic activity. There are about 20 lysine residues present within stemberlin. So a post-translational modification on the lysines present within stemberlin causes structural changes affecting the pH and thermodynamic parameters. In addition, stemberlin is a glycoprotein that contains a single hetero oligosaccharide unit per molecule. Within that molecule is six neutral sugars with residues of asparagine, glutamic acid, and serine. Also, one can see in this chart that there are aromatic residues present in stemberlin, such as phenylalanine, tryptophan, and tyrosine, which helps contribute to the smell of high Further analysis of stemberlin also shows that the catalytic activity of it differs from other components found in berlin. In a study by A. P. Rowan and colleagues, these researchers discovered that different substrates exhibited different catalytic activities when compared to each other. Even though the sequencing of the substrates may be the same, Rowan and colleagues found that the Michaelis constants were different. A post-translational modification on certain amino acids were found to change the physiochemical properties. These findings were tested by Zhu and colleagues in their published paper, Chemical Modifications of Stem Bromine with Anhydride Groups to Enhance Its Stability and Catalytic Activity in the Journal of Molecular Catalysis B Enzymatic. In their research, they determined the effects of enzymatic activity of stem bromine by changing its lysine by adding pyomaleic pyo anhydride acid and polymaleic anhydride. Researchers were expecting to find changes in the physiochemical characteristics of stem bromelin. To do this, the researchers prepared the enzyme by mixing stem bromelin with the various concentrations of the chemicals in question. In order to maintain a pH of 8, sodium hydroxide was used. The reaction was allowed to be carried out over one and a half hours at 25 degrees Celsius. To determine the change in pH sensitivity, the enzymes were dissolved in Tris HCl buffer with the pH range of 6 to 11 and incubated for 20 minutes at 40 degrees Celsius. The activity was then measured to determine the optimum pH. To determine the optimum temperature, the enzymes are incubated at temperatures ranging from 30 degrees Celsius to 90 degrees Celsius at pH of 8. Samples were cooled immediately in ice water and the residual enzymatic activity was determined. The results of this experiment confirmed the native pH of stem bromelin is 7. The pyromaleic anhydride, PB, is 8 and the polymaleic anhydride acid, PNB, is 9. This is significant because the native form of stem bromelin functions at an optimum pH of 7. The post-translational modifications cause it to function in higher levels of pH, so it causes it to function in more basic conditions. The maximum activity of stem bromelin can function at 60 degrees Celsius. At 80 degrees Celsius, the functionality of the modified maleic stem bromelin function at 34%. This is important because it was able to function 20% lower than the native bromelin at that temperature. By alternating the positive charge in the proton, the post-translational modifications resulted in neutral charges that caused decreases in charge repulsions within the polypeptide. The thermal stability of the modified and native forms of bromelin are due to the presence of cysteine residues in the polypeptide chain. The kinetics results were derived from the haynes wolf plot on the screen. When comparing the Km values of the modified and unmodified stem bromelin, the results showed that the modified had a slightly larger affinity for the substrate. This can be partly attributed to the increasing stability of the substrate binding complex. The catalytic efficiency value can provide the approximate enzyme efficiency when applied to industrial applications. Among the tested solutions, 
PMB share the highest catalytic efficiency. This can be attributed to the structural differences. So, why should one care about the effects on bromelain? Bromelain becomes inactive in the stomach due to the acidic nature at a pH range of 1.5 to 3.5. This is important because these post-translational modifications change the optimum pH of stem bromelain. Although this experiment makes it more basic, there could be a way to make stem bromelain more acidic to survive in the stomach. This is important because research has been done showing that stem bromelain has preventative carcinogenic effects through absorption in the intestine. If bromelain can survive through the stomach with a post-translational modification acting as a carrier to sanguate its passage, bromelain can then successfully transfer to the intestines. In the process, the post-translational modification would break off after transporting, leaving stem bromelain back to its native form. At an optimum pH of 7, stem bromelain would be able to absorb in the intestines, which has a pH range of 6 to 7.4. However, as excellent as stem bromelain appears to be for the body, stem bromelain has some negative attributes. For example, stem bromelain has anticoagulative effects, which causes the blood to thin. Mixing it with another blood thinner or other prescription drugs, such as warfarin, may cause excessive bleeding in the body. Studies have been done to show that stem bromelain can last more than four hours in the blood after reacting. In addition, stem bromelain has been known to have tranquilizing effects, especially in small animals. Despite these negative attributes, overall the positive effects of stem bromelain outweigh the negative effects. As a review, bromelain is extracted from pineapples, which then must be purified to obtain stem bromelain. All bromelain types are 90% similar in structure. By the addition of post-translational modifications, it is possible to alter the physiochemical properties. Hopefully, by the addition of a post-translational modification, stem bromelain can be used further for medical treatment. In conclusion, stem bromelain has the potential to be modified to more efficiently treat many ailments like edema, inflammation, assist in the debridement of burns, induce apoptosis in cancerous cells, prevent cardiovascular injuries, and gastrointestinal complications. Here is our bibliography. We hope you enjoyed our presentation.